Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have Dan Firks back with us. He's the number one real estate broker for Remax of Naperville. He's a familiar face, a friend. You were on a, just a little while ago giving us some good knowledge on lots of things all about real estate here in Naperville. So welcome back. Thank you, Liz. Now, it's great you, to be back. Well, thanks. You are an award winner. Um, you went from the number two agent to the number f uh, one agent in your office. Correct. That's awesome. And then you're the number, you're in the top five for Naperville for realtors. That's correct. What does that all mean? I mean, I think that's awesome. So congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work, right. A lot of dedication. Um, real estate market's been definitely changing mm -hmm. since the last couple of years. Uh, the volume of real estate been selling has been going up. So it's definitely a good sign for the buyers and the sellers. The dedication that my team and myself have and the attention to detail that we give our clients is second to none. We want to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do, doing what we say we're going to do, and make sure we're punctual with doing what we say we're going to do. Well, and it's, it's the largest purchase we're going to make. Most likely, it's going to be the largest, most expensive investment. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure they're in good hands, make sure that they have trust in you, and making sure that you're doing everything that you need to do to make this transaction as smooth and professional and on time. Right, and that timing, timing's a lot. You know, you've got to sell one house and buy another house or get out of a rental, and so timing means a lot. And sometimes there's a lot of juggling. Yep. A lot of buyers are coming in from out of state. They're only here for the weekend. You don't have much time, so you got to pile the family in the car. And you might show 15, 20 houses in four or five hours, so you're, you're, you're definitely busy on the weekends. You've got to make sure you're, you're showing them what they're looking for. You've got to listen to your clients, you know, Whatever they tell you that you're looking for, you want to make sure that you listen to them. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be showing them a house with, with no basement. If they say that basement's a must because they have family and friends coming over, you got to make sure you're listening to your clients and actually doing and saying the right things for them and well, representing them the correct way. Well, Dan, I have no doubt that you are a good listener. Um, but let's, let's find out a little bit about Dan because, you know, one thing that struck me is just, you know, you just are a nice guy and you got to, you know, we want to know a little bit more about you. You were a 20-year resident here in Naperville? I moved here in 1993. Yep. I'm from Wisconsin. I moved up here from Florida. Uh, and I love Chicagoland. It's, it's, a, it's a great city. Naperville is a great city. When you're not, you know, selling homes or, you know, showing homes or doing everything real estate react related, what are you doing here in Naperville? Checking out the local restaurants. Anything mm -hmm. new, new restaurant coming in, I definitely like to check out that because I love to give my clients referrals for restaurants, places to eat, um, things to do. Because a lot of clients that are coming into the Naperville, they're not familiar with Naperville. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what the fun things are. They don't realize we have a children's museum. They don't realize all the forest preserves that we have, all the shopping, all the great restaurants. So I want to make sure that I know all the good restaurants and all the new places that are popping up so my clients have somewhere to go and they don't feel so estranged. Right, well, and it helps, and it helps to have someone um, you know, who's knowledgeable about the neighborhood to, to make them feel welcome. Yes. So when we're thinking about um, the 2014 market and, you know, we're all paying attention to it, it, it seems like it's improving. It is definitely improving. Last year, the average um, sale price for homes in Naperville is right around the 410. This year, it's right around the 4, or excuse me, four, 2012 was right around the 410. Okay. Uh, the 13 was right around the 430. So the prices have already started going up. Uh, we don't have a lot of foreclosures and short sales we're dealing with any longer. So the competition with those are, you know, dwindling. So the, the normal seller don't have, does not have to compete against a property just like theirs that might be a little less expensive. So they tend to sell a little bit quicker and for a little bit more money. Wow, that's, that's really good news. It is excellent news. Well, and it's, it's that medium-sized home that's really moving. So Correct. Yep. If, if you've got a, a home in a four to six hundred range, just to give it wide, mm -hmm. how long is that staying on the Naperville market now? It could be a weekend. Wow. It could be. Average market time is probably about 30 days. Really? But, yeah, but it's all about location, condition, and pricing is always very important. Right. How you stage your home, how you present your home. You want to make sure you don't over-personalize your home, you want to depersonalize so other people can kind of See imagine their own things yeah. in the house. And that's all that you bring to bring to the, the, the table when, when someone's contracting you to help them is that knowledge of how to get all that done. Exactly. I, would, I don't think I would, I would think about that when selling my house. Sometimes the sellers are a little bit thrown mm -hmm. when I 
give suggestions of what needs to be done because obviously this is their home. They love their home. Right. And it's beautiful, but you have to realize that, you know, you're putting your home on the market. Now it's going to be a product that we need to sell to the general public. They might not like your red walls or your mirrors on the wall. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have to be more mainstream. So um, homes are staying on the market now for maybe 30 days. Mm -hmm. So that's if I'm... Um, if I'm selling my home, and it really, so I'm selling my home, I got about 30 days. So I really, there's a lot of things that have to come together. A lot of things. Selling and buying that home. How if, do you time it all? I have an excellent team. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't do this without my team. We got about five team members, Erica and Neil. They're all fantastic. I couldn't do it without them. And there's a lot of steps, and we have mm -hmm. protocols that we have to follow. We got to find out if they're moving out of state, when they have to be there, you know, what time, what date, and then we have to coordinate. Sometimes I'm working with a lot of relocation companies, so I might be talking to their relocation coordinator. So yeah, it can get tricky, mm -hmm. but we're pretty good at it. That's good. Well, I think the 20 years of experience can, can help make that a lot smoother for your buyer or seller. Time makes it a little bit easier. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Right. Well, Last year we sold our team a little over 100 houses. Wow. So, you know, the more you do, the more knowledge you get, and makes it a little bit easier, but every, every house is different. You um, come to new challenges all the time. Right, well, I would imagine that if you've um, sold one house or bought, you know, met a client with one transaction that they tend to say, hey, Dan, help us with our next step. I do get a lot of referrals, and it's a great honor when your mm -hmm. clients call you back. Um, they refer you to the children. A lot mm -hmm. of times the children you know, call, you know, call and say, you help mom and dad sell their house. We'd love to take you, know, you on as an agent. Can you come talk to us? That's always a great honor because when people are referring you, obviously you know you did a good job and you did the right thing. That's awesome, so Dan. Clients for life are very important to me. I can tell. And, and you know, Dan, that's a perfect place to leave. And I also want to let people know that you were uh, the five-star real estate agent by Chicago Magazine, too. So That was a great honor. You are just award-winning it all over the place. Thanks for taking time to stop out and, and talk to us. Thank you, Liz. I appreciate it. Not a problem. We're going to be right back with more Business Connection. Stay tuned.